Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna take you on a little journey today of our upgrades for our 2100 bunkhouse micro mini FLX unit. We've had it now for about three and a half weeks. So there's a couple other things that I plan on doing with this eventually. Um, maybe as early as tomorrow, Max Air fan may be coming for this. Uh, so I may try and switch that out upgrade that fan and the reason for putting the fan in obviously you get more air through it but when you look at wattage and you're trying to control the amount of power you're using in this unit or any unit on lithium and try and live off grid for a little while uh you want to be conservative with your power uh, we're already dealing with uh, possibly warm temperatures uh, a CPAP machine that we're running off of it. They have a big draw on power. Um, you know, lights, TV, and and if you run that Truma in there, you're around 180 to 200 watts someplace in there of power compared to a Max Air Fan, which you're going to draw 60. So, a uh, big difference. So Max Air may be coming into uh, our trailer. Uh, so a couple quick things, and I'm going to run this, through this video and try and keep it as short as I possibly can. But this Valterra valve, uh, highly recommend these things because if you haven't been through this yet and you haven't experienced it, there are, has been already, and we've had this three and a half weeks, times where that uh, opening that cap up, those valves don't hold and i've gotten some pushback on sewerage it's not a pleasant experience trust me not pleasant so that hopefully will deter that from happening in the future in the meantime uh eventually i, I gotta find a dealership to to get it to to get fixed now also on uh i bought a pair of these on amazon and they were like 40 dollars. they ratchet down really hard to find these because these wheels are so tight together uh ones that will work in here that seemed to do it for me honestly i can't tell you a brand on it right now i'd have to go back through and look at uh my amazon which i probably should have done but i didn't all right so on a different video i talked about opening the door on the 2100 and again i don't know if anybody else has experienced this or not but when you open the door to a certain extent, you start coming across the line of departure for the awning. So the awning, in our case, rubbed up against the side of the trailer, took uh, tore into the sticker. Uh, Winnebago is going to replace the sticker for me, or at least they're sending me one. And I'm probably going to end up doing it. But I did put these rubber caps on. Winnebago, if you see it, you may want to do this in the future at least let folks know about the door being opened and the potential for this uh, awning arm to tear into it. Uh, but these rubber caps, and what they are, I uh, bought them at an auto parts store. They are um, vacuum hose ends, and I just cut them off and glued them on. We'll see how long they last. Don't know. Uh, so a nice welcome mat, mm, Hobby Lobby. It's got some type of rubber grip things underneath so your, your mat doesn't go sliding back and forth. Wonderful addition to our trailer, no doubt. Let's go inside and take a quick peek and show you the upgrades. So in here, under the bed, pardon us, none, none of the beds are made. We're not going any place for, for a couple days. But you have that compartment. Uh, what I did in here is I put that little guy I got off Amazon, it's a sliding tray, slides out far enough for me to put whatever I want. We're actually going to use this for a hamper, uh, for di dirty clothes uh, during our travel. Then it slides back in, locks in place, you shut the door, uh, everything's up underneath. Wonderful addition. Uh, so also in here... In front of our couch, we have a footstool. Got it at Walmart today. Really heavy duty. Uh, they're around $20, $25. Um, 
it's got plenty of storage in it um, and we'll be able to during our, our travels just slide it up um, in front of the uh, the bunks so I put in here um, there's our, our little trash can which we move around I don't have that stuck to anything also up on the wall uh, a nice little piece that we had gotten at Hobby Lobby we take that off uh, during travel uh, so shelf uh, coverings on the shelves in the drawers and the sink strainer we've gotten to like these we actually have one in the house now and one out here a cutting board that we've had probably forever it fits in there nice and snug um, I got these they're actually uh, spice jars that you turn and they open up it's got a piece of metal underneath it uh, with adhesive strips you can put them up on the wall I haven't put it up on the wall quite yet I don't know where I'm gonna put it or what I'm gonna do with it yet uh, also those uh, strips we put in on the shelves in the uh, that should be off uh, on the shelves in the refrigerator because these things uh, for whatever reason um, they happen to put in glass shelves these glass shelves are heavy nothing we can do about that um, but as you're traveling down the road and your trailer's moving the stuff in there is tipping over and banging around potentially you're going to break those shelves uh, so i wanted to do as much as i could to protect that so we don't use our top bunk uh, so i got these at uh, uh, walmart and uh, i'm going to use command strips on these to keep them in place in a lower bunk uh, if we can see it here, we did end up uh, buying a room darkening curtain. I'm a freak when it comes to dark rooms. Love darkness. Uh, one of the things that uh, it's all Velcroed up in here uh, so we could pull it down at any time. And it actually has much like in the front bed, uh, a Velcro strap to hold it in place. One thing we have in the bunk there's a little uh, piece, kind of a, an outlet cover that's hinged and it will go up uh, to access the LED plugs. The LED plugs make it like daylight in this bunk at night. So it's absolutely horrific to stay in here because it looks, it's daylight. Now that stops that from happening. Um, so at this point, I just have that command strip uh, stuff behind it. That's what's holding it on. Uh, I can screw that in and I probably will eventually. I did get one of these cargo nets for in here for a cell phone. Uh, that's also mounted to the wall. There's the wonderful 300 uh, Dometic. Aye, aye, aye. You'll hear it in a second. <laughs> there it is. Uh, we ended up getting a. a mirror i actually found that at walmart they're actually hard to find uh mounted that to the wall this already came mounted for us the towel bar uh mounted the toilet paper holder got that at uh, lowe's uh from amazon command strip uh shelf for hand wipes because there is no sink in the bathroom and also uh, down there that has command strips and that is the toilet brush and by the way if you ever clean these toilets they say don't use chemicals use soap and water which is weird so uh i guess it could harm potentially the <laughs> piece of junk toilet that's in there that that's going to be another upgrade for us here eventually uh but um i want to get everybody's thoughts if you can as well on the max air fan fantastic fan what do you use and what do you got what do you like what do you don't like and then obviously we have two ports to put it in 
I'm looking at right here in the uh, in near the bunk in the refrigerator for the Max Air fan. Uh, instead of that little thing that uh, is not good, but um, that could be a pretty soon that Max Air fan. Like I said before, they are are our upgrades for the uh, 2100 bunkhouse that we've done thus far. Um, again, more to come, but I wanted to show you those uh little upgrades and tweaks we've done i know there's going to be a lot more along the way and i think next week we're heading out uh possibly for three weeks uh, it depends on some other scenarios but hopefully that occurs we get some traveling in first big trip in this trailer and uh, we're we're looking forward to it all right thanks for watching everybody have a good day take care